Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 2001's Transformers Robots in Disguise, Scourge. This is one of my absolute favorite Transformer figures, and one that I have been wanting to put in front of this camera for a long time. But I had a problem. The sword that originally came with this Scourge, this is my original, was chewed on by my pet cat. I don't know if you can see the tip of the sword there. But I had it on my kitchen table. I went to the other room to get something, came a bit back in the kitchen, and the cat is just like ah, 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 on my sword. So it's looked like crap for years, and that's why I didn't put him in front of the camera. But fortunately, a subscriber of mine said, Hey, I've got a whole bag full of scourge parts that you're welcome to, and that included a perfect sword. So now, Thanks to him, I'm able to put Scourge in front of this camera and show him off to you guys. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at this awesome robot. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In vehicle mode, Scourge looks amazing. I absolutely love his tanker truck mode. The black, the teal, and all that chrome really make this toy pop on your shelf. I mean, this is how I had him displayed for the longest time until I finally ran out of room. And this is a big tanker truck as well. He measures 15 inches from the nose of the cab to the end of the trailer. And check out all the details, the sculpted details on this figure are awesome. I mean, for a 20-year-old figure, this guy pops. Now, let's take a quick look at the trailer first, just so I can show off those details a little closer. Great sculpting all the way around. I love the wheels. Nice, solid wheels, opposed to the clip-on wheels we have today. The rear of the trailer has one sticker that says Scourge D012, which is a reference to his Japanese ID number. And this, this trailer is heavy and solid, too, because it does hide a secret within. So now we'll put the trailer aside over here and bring in Scourge's cab. The cab looks great. The black, the teal, the purple Decepticon logo right there. I love the blood red clear windows. Usually, I do not like translucent plastic. But these work. You don't really see anything on the inside. It just goes straight through, and it looks great. I love the teal outlines, the chrome here on the front. I can't get over the chrome on this figure. It looks beautiful. Lots of sculpted details as well. I mean, this is an awesome toy. Now, the original Laser Optimus Prime, which this figure is based off of, it was a G2 figure, was electronic and scourge has the electronics gutted but still up here on the top there's the button where the electronics used to be right there is the battery compartment that has now been glued shut so that's kind of a shame that he doesn't have the electronics but oh well paint applications are fantastic look at the door there like i said the decepticon logo the smokestacks 
And underneath, he does have weapon storage. You got his sword right here. It doesn't stay on real good. It just kind of clips here on the end. But you just shake it a couple times, it falls right off. So we'll put that to the side. Got the nice chrome rims on the wheels. I mean, I love the wheels. This guy rolls awesome. Like I said, they don't make the wheels like this anymore. We get those damn clip-ons. Underneath, it's not too bad. You really can't make out he is a robot. So let's bring in the trailer once again and peg that on. So you can see Scourge all combined together with the trailer, and it looks great. It rolls great. This is a fantastic vehicle mode so now let's go ahead and get scourge transformed into robot mode once again we're going to take the trailer off and we'll open up this section right here which is going to reveal scourge's handgun so let me get this out put the trailer to the side we'll go over that more later on and let's get into transformation the first thing we're going to do is flip these sections down which is going to form the robot feet and then extend the legs now, grab the sides of the truck, pull these out, which will form the robot arms, and then split the front of the cab in half and bring them down like so, revealing the robot shoulders. Now, this section here, flip this open, and you can see Scourge's head right there. You got this little tab up top. Press that. And this will bring the head up. It's on this really cool slide. So you bring the slide in, rotate the head around, shut his gut up, open the legs. And there you have Scourge in robot mode. And just like the truck, robot mode looks fantastic. I love the color scheme. You got the wheels spinning up here on the shoulders. The shoulders also form like missile launchers. The head sculpt looks great, and he's got some awesome light piping, if I can get it to work. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. That looks awesome. I love when a figure has great light piping. These are sticker decals right here on the shoulders and the chest, paint applications here on the waist, and down here on the legs. Now, for an older figure, Scourge here has lots of articulation. The head is on a swivel and can do a complete 360. The arms can go up and down. They can do a complete 360 as well. Wait a minute. They cannot. They are going to catch right there. But honestly, you don't need your arm to do a complete 360 for posability. There is a rotation at the bicep and a bicep bend. There is waist rotation. Here are those lovely ratchets. Legs can go up and down, forward and back, and there is a knee bend. So lots and lots of articulation for this old figure. Now, of course, you've got his sword. We can put that in his hand like so. And you've got this little blaster. Now the blaster is also used with the trailer, as you saw, but right there, that is the handle. You'll make sure this section is flipped up and just peg that into his hand. Now you probably noticed the translucent parts here and on the handle with the old figure, if you would press the button on the back, it would light up, lighting up the sword and the blaster. But as I said, they gutted this figure's electronics. But man, still, what a great looking figure. I love this guy. I've held off way too long reviewing him, and I'm so glad I finally got him in front of the camera to show him off to you guys. Now let's take a look at Scourge's trailer. To transform the trailer, what we're going to do is flip this section back down, which housed the gun. The gun actually pegged into that hole right there. And if you look, there is a button here. You're going to push this button in, which is going to release the trailer and spit out these little discs up top. So after it's released, you want to bring this up, and the sides of the trailer are actually going to unfold. Now, you want to watch this section right here, because these little discs keep falling out. This will actually... I can get the disc back in, swing around, and so when you lay everything down like so, if I can get it all in camera, there we go, so we got the disc launcher there, over on this side, you're going to pop this out, you've got this missile rack with missiles, and you get the little buttons here, the missiles do fire. 
I think, yep, there he went. I haven't messed with this toy in a long time. I, I don't want these things shooting across the room. But yeah, the spring-loaded missiles, you've got five in the launcher, and each one is attached or hooked to an individual button. So those work really good. And there is a ball, ball joint right there, that's going to peg into this. So pop that into place. If you look, this will be hard to do this. There is extra missile storage right there on the bottom. Right here, we've got the disc launcher. You've got a big red missile right here. This section, you're going to pull this out. This is a bellows for... Get turned around. This is so awkward. For right here, there is a missile launcher on the inside. And as you can see, that missile is jacked up. I thought you were supposed to be able to hide the missile in here and store it. That's not the case. That missile got squished to hell. Fortunately, I've got extra missiles, discs, and the little missiles, so we're good on that. So what we'll do is we're going to take the squish to hell missile off and put in a good one. Get that to match up just right so it slides all the way down there on the tube. And for the top here, you can actually take Scourge's blaster, flip this section back around, and peg the blaster here up top so let me see if i can get all this in shot and that's the best i can do so you've got this big t-shaped base you got the missile here the blasters the rocket launchers and the disc launcher if you're familiar with these disc launchers these are really cool let me get this moved around again you turn the dial here and it launches the discs out the front so there we go one two three four and five so that is awesome let me get those cleaned up now moving on to the main launcher here you've got the bellows you've got the air tube i hope this works just give it a squeeze well that was very anticlimactic let me hit it with a little bit more impact get that missile on there all right <laughs> oh yeah there's a there's a crimp in the hose right there like I said, I have not messed with this in years. I can't believe it fired the first time. But you get the idea. You s oh, there we go. So, yeah, he's not going to be raising too much hell with that missile launcher. But you see how it works. And here you've got Scourge manning his battle platform. A really cool little playset. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here is 2001's Robots in Disguise Scourge with Robots in Disguise Megatron. The Walmart exclusive Netflix Nemesis Prime and Studio Series 86 Scourge. 2001's Robots in Disguise Scourge is an amazing figure. This guy has a fantastic vehicle mode, an awesome looking robot mode, tons and tons of playability. You just can't go wrong with the guy. I really cannot find any faults in this figure. I absolutely love him. But keep in mind, if you're trying to hunt one down for yourself, he does come with a lot of pieces and parts. Multiple missiles, the launcher, the discs. I mean, you really got to make sure you're getting him 100% complete if you want to enjoy Scourge for the great figure that he is. So there you go, guys. Transformers, Robots in Disguise, Scourge. So, does the 2001 Transformers Robots in Disguise Scourge belong in your collection? Absolutely. I love this figure. This is one of the best Transformer figures I think that's ever come out. Considering he's 20 years old and saying that is a lot. This guy is amazing. He looks great. The vehicle mode is awesome. You can't go wrong with all that chrome. So yeah, if you get a chance to get one of these guys, but as I said earlier, you got to make sure you get all the pieces and parts. I highly recommend him. You are going to love this guy. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And still holding strong on my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. 
Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!